Hello friends, leaders, wingmen. So nice to be with you again. I know it's been a cold winter. We've had blizzard after blizzard. Seems like coming across our country and actually it's snowing here in Atlanta, Georgia today. So, hope you're staying warm and having a good year. Now, let's talk about a new honor code that's just been released recently by our team at Leading with Honor. You know, it was just a year ago that I was in Hanoi and went back to the old Hanoi Hilton. Now, a lot of people ask me, what was that like to go to the Hanoi Hilton again? How did you feel? Well, you know, in many ways, I didn't have a lot of feelings about being there. It was a reality. It was a painful experience of being there originally. Uh, the loss, there was a loss of years there, of family and being in a freedom, a free country and loss of freedom. That's all the reality, and I've kind of dealt with that. But the real emotion I felt most was anger. Anger at the lies in the museum, and they made it into a museum, part of it. The lies there about how well they treated us. Because all I could remember was how they tortured so many for so long for lies, propaganda lies, usually. That was what I felt. Well, then as we returned, and over the next few months, I kept thinking about the power of lies to undermine freedom. You know, people lie when they don't have a good, real, usable response. They have, they're trying to cover up. They've done something wrong, and they don't want to admit it. They don't have a good product. Well, certainly that's true for communism in all those situations. So, I thought about, though, the loss in our own country now from lies and how we really need to turn that around. Every lie undermines our freedom. It chips away at it. So, last fall, our team at Leading with Honor started working on an honor code. Now, in the POW camp, we had the Code of Conduct, six articles that really helped us stay focused, guided our behavior, and helped us resist return with honor. Now, if we could have an honor code that would be a guideline for our behavior, it would really help all of us. We could clarify it, and then people could make a commitment to it. It'd be a reminder on an ongoing basis of what the standards really are. So we worked on it, several iterations, and after several iterations and drafts, we came out with seven articles. They're very short, but they're very powerful. They sound easy, but they're not. They're very hard to do. So did those, you can access all seven on our website, and uh, I hope that you will go there and take a look. Today, I'm going to focus on the first one, which is tell the truth even when it's difficult. Now, I've done a longer blog uh, in this month's blog section on our website, so you can go and read more detail on this, but I'd like to speak just briefly about telling the truth even when it's difficult. You know, the reality is, we're all capable of lying very easily. In fact, I think we'll all admit that sometimes we do lie. So it's there, that built-in human nature. It's right beneath the surface. Our ability to lie and how we resort to it so easily. You don't have to teach a young child to lie. A three-year-old can lie with no training at all. So that's the reality. What happens, though, is when we make a mistake, quite often the fear of consequences pops up, and that fear drives us to tell a lie. Fear is usually the driving agent that causes people to lie. Fear of consequences, fear of being exposed, fear of not looking good, fear of not winning. And so there are a number of reasons there, and I've highlighted those in the blog. And I'm, I'm sure you can think of others. But fear and pride, which kind of go together usually, uh, they're probably connected in some deep way. Pride and ego and fear of not being successful or being okay, that fear drives us to say things that we know are not true, but we're trying to protect ourselves. Well, I, first of all, I think we have to just do the best we can to do the right thing, and then when we mess up, we just got to face up to it. And then also commit to being a person of character by telling the truth, even when it maybe doesn't seem to make us look as good as we could. And we've had situations recently in the media where a national uh, television anchor has gotten in trouble for saying he did things that he didn't do. You know, we can all do that very easily. We have to guard against that. We have to be proactively and intensely guarding ourselves. And when we make a mistake, we have to correct it quickly and to his credit. He did. So, 
looking ahead. As we move through this year, we'll be revisiting those uh, seven articles in the Code of Honor. Today we talked about telling the truth even when it's difficult. And I hope that you will make up your mind right now that you're going to do everything you can to tell the truth, that you're going to have courage when you make a mistake or when you want to look good and you want to connect in a good way, that you're going to have the courage to just deal with it as it is from a truthful perspective. I can assure you this, you won't dig your hole any deeper, you'll clear yourself quickly, and in the long run you'll be very proud that you did the honorable thing in telling the truth. And when you make a mistake, you correct it quickly. When you do that, you'll be blessed.